When it comes to melagazan preparation, are you an early riser or are you a night owl? This video is about why it might be worth thinking about giving it a trial of waking up early, getting some work done before the day starts, and seeing how it benefits you. Now, if you're a night owl and you know that you already work better at 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., that's fine, this video is not for you. But if you've never tried working up early or you're not sure when the best time of day is for you, then it's worth watching a few of these ideas. I'm talking about three reasons why it might be beneficial to start waking up early and doing some work. Productive, follow-up, and achievement. There's probably a reason why a lot of CEOs and high leaders wake up early, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and maybe that can translate into medical exam preparation, whether it's med school or post-grad exams. It doesn't really matter. I myself wake up at 5 a.m. Why? Because I know by 9 a.m. I'm ahead of the game. I've done so much, I've achieved so much, and I feel like I'm winning that day straight away. Three reasons to think about. Number one, productive. Does it increase your productiveness if you wake up earlier and start revising early and preparing early? Number one, alertness. You're probably more alert in the morning than you are at 11 p.m. at night when the whole day has happened, you've made lots of decisions, lots of things have happened, you're probably pretty fatigued by this day. So even if you open up your books, are you really taking things in as well as you can? Your alertness levels are gonna be so much better in the morning. You're clearer, you're fresh, and you're ready to hit the books hard and take more in. Retention, are you gonna remember things better in the morning than you are at 11 p.m.? Maybe, even just not remembering it quicker, are you able to retain it for longer periods of time? Probably, because you, again, you're clearer, you're sharper, and it's all working better than if it is at midnight when you pick up your books after a whole day. There's something called decision fatigue that you might have heard about. The longer you are into the day, the more decisions you've made to make, even about mundane things, what to eat, what to wear, the more decisions you've had to make at work, at home, and maybe your retention, your fatigue levels are different than when you are in the morning when you're alert, fresh, crisp, and ready to go. Distractions, of course, when you wake up at five, six in the morning, who else is gonna be awake at that time? And therefore, probably less distractions, less phone calls, less social media stuff, less pings on your phone, less feet walking around the house, kids might be asleep. We all know when you have gotta get into that zone, it's easier to do it when there's less distractions. You might do the same amount of work, the same one hour in the morning, the same one hour in the evening, but if the distractions are taking your mind away in the evening, is it gonna be as productive? Probably not. You may need two hours to get the same amount of work done because you have to go in, out, in, out of the zone. Whereas when there's no distractions, you're clear cut, you're ahead of the game, and you're going for it, and you probably pick up more things. And all this will probably improve your efficiency. You're probably more alert, you're retaining more, there's less distractions, your efficiency of work is probably much better in the morning. Remember, it's not about how many hours you work, it's about the smartness and the efficiency of the hours that you do. What might take you one hour in the morning, you might have to give yourself two hours in the evening, and therefore are you working at its most efficient? So maybe waking up early can increase your productiveness. Number two, Follow up, what do I mean by this? If you do something in the morning, say you are working on something and you don't quite understand it, you now got the whole day to follow that up and work it out. That might mean taking a bit of time later on just to go into more detail. You may be talking to someone about this, your tutors at work, for example, your supervisors, clarifying things. You suddenly bought yourself a whole day to figure out things that you couldn't quite figure out in the morning. Now, if you don't, if you do something at 11 p.m. and you don't understand it, are you gonna wake up the next day and go and follow that up? Probably less likely. It's a new day, new problems, new issues, new, new things come up, new day at work. You're probably gonna let it go, and before you know it, the opportunity is gone to really understand and clarify that matter. Secondly, when I mean about follow-up, you might follow up something in your own mind. So say you've learned something that's been particularly challenging and you finally cracked it, or you've learned a list of things that you know you cannot forget. Later on in the day, at some point, you can review that in your mind when you're driving to work or driving back from work or you know something's going on that's pretty mundane. You can review the stuff that you learned in the morning so it consolidates things. Again, if you've learned something at 2 a.m., are you gonna really review it the next day? Probably not because other things, again, are starting to develop. But if you've done it in the morning, you can follow it up later in the day and it consolidates your learning increasing your productivity and your efficiency. So follow is brilliant. Number three, achievement. If you start with two hours of work in the morning, you straight away you own that day. You're controlling the day, you're not letting the day control you. What do I mean by this? If you plan to work between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. at night, the day is gonna take over, things are gonna happen, you're gonna get busy, decision fatigue like we talked about, life might happen, something might stop you starting at 8 p.m., you might start at 9 p.m., and suddenly you're not controlling the day, the day is controlling you. In the bigger picture, you're not controlling your preparation, the preparation is getting on top of you. You're not controlling the exam, the exam is gonna ultimately control you. Because if you get up in the morning and you start your preparation, you get your two hours out of the way, you are controlling your day and ultimately your preparation and hopefully controlling that exam. Extra work feels like a bonus. If you've already done two hours in the morning and you go and do another hour in the evening, it is a bonus. It's not that you have to do that one hour just to get on level playing field so you feel happy that you've done enough work in that day. If you've got some out of the day, even if you don't do any more later on, if you've done two hours in the morning, 
you feel satisfied, you've done your lot, you've done your bit, and now you don't have to go with any feelings of worry that what if I don't get to do that, uh, that preparation period that I planned between 10 p.m. and midnight, for example. But if I do get to do some more between 10 p.m. and midnight, it's a bonus and you start to feel uh, much better about your preparation. Less guilt, of course. If you do plan to work between 10 p.m. and midnight and something else happens, someone gets unwell, you have to go, whatever it might be, you start to feel guilty. I've done no work. It's been a day since I picked up a book. I'm falling behind. I'm not going to be able to prepare. Everything's going to get on top of me. The stress that will start to build, you start to feel guilty. Whereas if you've done your two hours in the morning, it does not matter what happens later on, your guilt levels are going to feel less. And ultimately, you feel ahead of the game. Like I said, you're not controlling. Um, the exams are controlling you. You are controlling the exam. You feel ahead of your preparation. You feel in control of your preparation. You feel in charge of your preparation because you're getting things done before the world starts to get on top of you. So achievement certainly may feel better when you start early in the morning. Now, look, I'm not saying that you still need to get up three hours early, get up at 2 a.m., anything silly like that. Small changes, half an hour, an hour. Remember, routines are important. Habits are important. Things take one, two, three weeks to get a routine. It was hard for me to start waking up at 5 a.m. It didn't happen overnight. It took several weeks of doing it, waking up, bleary-eyed, finding it difficult, but then it becomes habit, then it becomes norm, then it becomes easy, and then it becomes natural. And when things are natural, you do it on autopilot, and that's when you start to get ahead of the game. So think about giving it a go. Even if you don't wake up an hour earlier, use your time in your morning better. Wake up at the same time, but condense what you normally do in an hour into 30 minutes. Try routine, do things without thinking about it, and suddenly you've bought yourself half an hour even without waking up uh, half an hour earlier and if you add on waking up an hour earlier as well you've bought yourself an hour and a half to do some extra work now i know it's difficult it's not easy it may not work for everybody it's worth thinking about because number one can it improve your productivity if it does it's worth a go and number two does it give you more time for follow-up and therefore you're consolidating better if it does it's probably worth giving it a go and number three does it make you feel like you've achieved more does it make you feel more on top and in control of your preparation if it does it's probably worth giving it a go. So think about it. If you're not sure what works best for you and what time works best for you, think about trying to do a few days or a couple of weeks of working early, getting up, getting ahead of the day. It may be the best change that you've done and it may make you feel that this exam is going to be less difficult than you thought it may be. Hope this helps. Hashtag can pass. Will pass.